Hi, I'm Glenn Everett, Master of Machines. It's drag racing time. If it's tyre smoking, adrenaline pumping, high RPM action you like, then stay tuned for this episode because I guarantee you're going to love it. Look at who I found here, my old friend Cole Denisenko, the owner of my old company, GD Performance Tuning. Now, the car behind us here is a twin turboed VE SS Commodore, and it's a very fast piece of machinery. Back in around 2008, I actually broke the world record for the fastest Commodore slash G8 Pontiac at 10.15 at 138. It was a very, very exciting time. We wanted to bust into the nines, the elusive nines, but it never happened for me. I had to go and work in TV land. Cole, Good to see you, mate. You're here today. Are you oh. going to bust into that night? Mate, we're going to do everything we got, Glenn. Mate, great seeing you get out here today. Um, we haven't had out for a while now, Glenn, so we hopefully are going to get that elusive nine, mate. We'll see how it goes out there. I know she's been sitting in storage for quite some time, mate, so you dusted the cobwebs off and you're out here to give it a run. Yeah, hopefully uh, hopefully we'll see how it goes. And maybe later in the day, mate, we might put you back in the seat and give you another drive. Are you serious? Yeah, I reckon we can, <laughs> I reckon we can organise this, mate. Lucky I bought my helmet. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you would have, but you could have used mine, mate, not a problem. Awesome, mate. Tell us a bit about the car. Tell us about the drivetrain and the power it's making these days. Yeah, look, Glenn, nothing's really changed. Still the six litre, twin turbo, two speed glide. Look, we had on the rollers last night just to run up. She was making a strong about 560 uh, kilowatts of the wheels. We did have a little bit of wheel spin on the dyno, Glenn, but um, strong, very strong. It's a thousand plus horsepower at the flywheel, mate. That's not hanging about. <laughs> uh, look, we just got to uh, hopefully get the power down to the ground. See what the footprint's like, then we'll go from there. Give it heaps, mate. Get out there and run that nine. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Good seeing you around. You too, mate. Thanks, mate. <laughs> One for the Mopar fans, I've found a good old AP6 Valiant here and she's a pretty angry machine too. We're with Ian Medley, the owner of this car, mate, tell us all about it. Yes, uh, she's a 1965 AP6, I purchased it about 13 years ago for $800. I've just been budget racing ever since. So tell us about the power plant this thing, she certainly doesn't hang about. Yes, yeah, she's uh, a 360 block, factory one, been straked out to a 408 cube running in these cylinder heads. And we run a hit of nitrous, about 180 shot and it gets up the horsepower to close to 800. 800 horsepower? Yep, yeah, she's gone uh, at 957 by 142. Unbelievable, mate. What are you actually doing here with it at the moment? Yeah, so we had a bit of trouble with the carby earlier, so we just changed it to another carby. I always bring a spare along, just have a bit of play with, and going to do that and turn the nitrous on and have a bit of fun. So you've got the Dominator happening here, mate, by the looks of it? Yes, mate, yes, 1050 Holly Domino, beautiful carby, worked great. That'll get it happening. Runs um, that 950s in full street trim, it's got full exhaust system in the car, four mufflers, uh, nine inch rear with a power glide in it. Um, I do all my own work, I build my own engines and gearboxes and stuff like that. Just thought I'd run it a hobby for me, so. Well mate, well done, it's a credit to you. Get out there, get this thing going and give it heaps. No worries, thank you very much. run that was from Cole Denisenko in the VE. Let's stop him and have a chat to him. Mate, a 987 at 147 oh, miles per hour. bad for the first time back out, Glenn. <laughs> Freaking hell, I'm excited, <laughs> mate. I tell you what. The old G&D VE is still going Get strong, mate. It, mate. Two years, been doing nothing, dusted her off, put some juice in it. Chucky gives you a tune on the dyno, and thanks for coming, boys. You know I always dreamt of running that uh, nine in this car. I'm so proud to see you do it, mate. mate I really mate, am. I wouldn't have done yep. it without you, mate. You've been there all the time for me. You're always there for me, mate.
Well, I love an early Monaro, and I found a great example here. It's owned by Roy. Roy, tell us about this machine. She's wild. It's a 1968 HK GDS Monaro. Had it for a long time. It's got a 406 Chev in it, two-speed power glide, and a nine-inch. And what sort of numbers has it run before at the track here? It's gone 1062, but today it's going 1067. Fantastic. Tell us a bit about the power plant itself, the internals and the sort of power it makes. It's got a dart block, SRP pistons, roller camshaft, uh, aluminium headed, 950 HP Ultra. What sort of horsepower are we talking? Made 605. Not hanging about mate, 605. No, it's pretty good. Pump fueler, gets driven. It's an everyday car, so... Fantastic mate. Well, get out there and give it heaps. That's what we're here for. <laughs>
it's very aggressive. Yep, okay, we're staged. We'll store this thing up. I'm not going on the green straight away. I want to just get the boost built up on this thing and get that turbo singing. So let's do it. Yeah, baby. a good run. How was it? What was the time? Uh, what do we got? A 10-1-3. 10-1-3. Oh, not quite the 9. I want that elusive 9. One more run, I reckon. One more run. What do you think? Go for it. Let's do it. 10-1-3. <laughs> oh, I've done a 10-1-5 before, but I want that 9-second pass. All right, off we go. Baby up and get this thing launching. Okay, we're ready. I'm going to sit on the green, I'm going to build up boost. Well, she's got a bit of a misfire, so I decided to back off. Just in case the engine was going to get hurt, forced induction, you hear a misfire or an issue going on, it could be a lean out, it could be ignition fault, you're better off shutting the run down. Bit of a shame, but that's the way it goes. I'd rather look after the equipment and not hurt this car for GD performance's sake. I'll take it back, see what they think. Could be a faulty coil pack, could be anything really. Faulty plug. Might be time to call it a day and take it back to the workshop, I think. At least I ran a 10 1 3. I went two hundredths of a second faster. <laughs> but I'm glad to see that Cobb went a 9, and that's made me really, really happy and proud. The boys at GD Performance, they've done real well to get this thing into a 9. I want to thank them very, very much for letting me drive this car. It's been an absolute pleasure and a privilege. And don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell because your support helps us keep this show on the road. With 70 episodes and over 2 million views across the channel so far, be sure to subscribe to see all new content coming your way for 2021.